Can you offer any advice to a student who might want to become a composer? Well, we were talking before about being a performer. I think the best advice I would have to a young composer would be to be the best performer you can be and learn as much about what instruments can do so that you can use those instruments. I remember when I was in college, I made it a point to make friends with people who played all the instruments of the orchestra and make appointments with them to have them play for me and show me what they liked to do, what they didn't like to do, what, their, what the limits of the instruments were, uh, to play me some of their favorite excerpts from the books of excerpts that, that, that uh, students have. So I learned what their world is like. Because I, I never forget that every performer is looking at my piece through the perspective of his or her part. There's a wonderful book called The Orchestra Gets Dressed. And it's, it's a little picture book. And you see people doing their shopping and doing, doing whatever they're doing. And then they, you see them getting dressed in their black clothes to perform and getting their instruments and then coming to the orchestra and all lining up together in this uniform sea of people in black clothes to perform at the very end. The last page is the orchestra and the conductor gives that, that, that downbeat. But that book uh, makes it clear that every orchestral performance is a collection of individuals and uh, for each individual the experience is not what everybody does all together, but what he or she does. And so I want every part to be good and to make sense from beginning to end and be a good experience for every player. And so I think the more composers are aware of the needs and um, wishes and uh, hopes of performers, the, the, the better the music will be.